Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. This is the seventh video of the linked list series where we are going to solve the problem of a lead code which states remove the nth node from the end of the list. So in this problem, we will be given the head of the linked list and the position from the end of the list which we have to remove. So in this you can see that we have been given one linked list which is having node 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the position what they are saying is that you have to remove the second position from the end. So from the end, from here, this is the first node and this is the second node. So we have to remove this node. So the position what is given to us is from the end or not from the beginning. So how we can solve this problem? So in this problem, we will be given the head of the linked list and the position from the end from which we have to delete the list. So in this you can see, if this is the linked list given to us having node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the position is 2, we have to delete this node. So how we can do this? Now just assume that this is the, uh, this is the linked list given to us and they are saying to delete the node which is having position 2 from the end. So if this is the linked list, this is its last node and this is the second node from the end, right, which we have to delete. Now just assume that in a singly linked list, if we have to delete this node, how can you delete it? To delete this node, first of all, you have to reach till this node and then say, suppose this is your, uh, this is your current node, then what you can do? You can say that current dot next is equal to current dot next dot next right like this way if you do this what will happen your this current will now point to this current dot next dot next so this current dot next is this and its next is this so after doing this operation you will be basically making this 4 to point to 6 right so to do all this operation first you have to reach till this position right so basically you have to see how you can reach the node position which is just before the node which you want to delete. In this case, suppose if you want to delete this node 5 which is nothing but the second node from the end, you have to reach till node 4, right? First thing what we have to do in this problem is to find the length of this given linked list. So to do this, you have to first iterate this complete linked list and find this length. Now in this case, you will get, get it as a 6, right? Now the second thing what you have to do is like you have to find this node position which you will use to delete the next node. So see, you can you can find this node by nothing but you will just create a variable called position from beginning and do length which is in this case is 6 minus the position which they have given to delete from the end, which is 2. So 6 minus 2 will be equal to 4, right? So if you see this, this is the fourth position only. So you can reach to the previous position of the node which you want to delete by just finding the length of the given linked list and then doing subtract operation on that length by this given position. So let's see how we can code this. So to save the time, I've already coded this. Let me dry run on this code. So suppose I have been given this linked list, one, two, three, uh, just take some different number also like seven, five, four, uh, three, okay? So what is the first thing which we have to do? The first thing which we have to do is to like, find the length of this given linked list. This thing is very obvious that if the head itself is pointing to null, you can return the null because there is nothing to delete. After that, what you have to do is you have to first find the length of this given linked list. And if you find this length, it will come as like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So in this given linked list, there are 7 nodes, right? And now just assume that the position which we have been given. So this length is nothing but 7 and this position just assume that we have been given position as a 3, okay? So from the end, which is the third node? This is the third node from the end, right? 1, 2, 3. 
So this is the node which we are saying to delete, right? So what we have to do, we have to first find the length of this given, given linked list. So to do this, we have just ran a, ran a for loop or a while loop on this given linked list and trying to find what is this length of the given linked list. Now we have find this length variable and just assume, so there is a, a different case also. So just assume that the position instead of three, they have given the position itself as a seven. So basically have, they are saying to delete the first node from the given linked list. In this case, what you have to do? You have to just point your head to the head dot next. So your head should point here and return from here, right? So in this case, your head will returning from uh, here and it will just pointing to this one. So this is the case when the position itself is given equal to the length of the linked list. So in this case, if the length is also seven and the given position also seven, it means you have to delete the first node of the linked list. Now take a different example where length is of course seven and the position which I was saying at the first time is equal to three. In this case, we have to remove this fifth node, right? So first we found that length of this given linked list by this while loop and say that it is seven. And this case I explained here, if the position they have given it as a seven, then you have to remove the first node from this given linked list. And if the position is three, so this is the general case. So what we have to do is we have to find the node, the previous node position from the beginning. And that we can do by subtracting this position from the length. So in this case, it will be seven minus three is equal to four. So in this way, you will reach this fourth node, right? So now we know that once we reach this fourth node, we can do if our current is pointing here, current dot next is equal to current dot next dot next. So if we do this part, basically we will point from seven to four. So to do this, we are just traversing or just running a while loop and each iteration we are decreasing this length from beginning value. So which is equal to four now. So in one iteration, it will go to three. Again, it will go till two and we are, we are checking it. Once it will be equal to zero, which is in the fourth iteration, it means that we have reached till this node. And once you have reached till this node, you have to just run this code, which says that current dot next equal to current dot next dot next. This makes this seven to point to four. And once you do this, you break this while loop and come out of it and then return your head. So this is a very simple way to delete a node whose position is given from the end of the link list. I hope you understand this video. If you have any doubt, please write it in comment section. And if you have understand it, please write understood in comment section. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.